This is my first time playing Life is Strange. I've wanted to for a while. Just never got around to it. It was always in the backlog. And I knew I'd get to it someday. And today is that day. We're playing on the PS5. So I don't know if this game had like loading screens or anything, but <laughs> they'll be a lot quicker if it does. All right, new game. so loud. so shiny there's the lighthouse <laughs> i'll be safe if i can make it there i hope please let me make it there oh okay we're controlling now can we run doesn't seem like it Jeez, that's a big tornado. Oh my god. Or a typhoon? Would it be a typhoon if it's over water? Not sure. <laughs> Holy shit. That's crazy. Oh, jeez. That was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, These I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and. That Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. It's the future? Arbus. There you go, Victoria. What Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Oh, I was waiting, <laughs> waiting for her to say the next line. That's Hi, Arbus. <laughs> because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. She's if anybody else looked at this, what would they think? October 1st. October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I, I mean, October. Yeah, I'd say September or October is pretty good weather. Um, I, <laughs> I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate, let me borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or it's Vortex Club. Well, oh, Vortex. Would that be a Vortex? That's the word I was looking for, I think. Uh, stroke Fest Swimming Party or is that Backstroke Fest? <laughs> You're so punny, Max. Okay, so her name is Max? I think. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. Okay, and then we can look at, like, people. 
All right, I don't want to read all these right now. Let's just play a little bit of the game first. And frankly, it's bullshit. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any... I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and portraiture for as long as it's been around. <laughs> now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits. Oh, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's bullshit a little bit. I did know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either <laughs> know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Oh, what a jerk. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I the should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. You can find out all about him in your textbook. My little camera bag is back. In your textbook. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> okay. Victoria doesn't want... Even her school books are gift wrapped. Jeez. I can't believe she made fun of me. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. All right, fifty-two or fifty-three hundred dollars. Jeez, an expensive camera. I wonder if that includes the lenses as well. All right, who's this? Kate. Computer. All right, little photo editing. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Um. Victoria's already won. I wonder what she means by that. I think Victoria has already won the contest. Oh, photo contest. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. All right. Um. Paper ball. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. What the Verge. heck? All right. All right. <laughs> they seem a little too young for that. Itch marks. Oh, trophy. Take optional photo number one. Oh, okay, so those they're going to be like, quote, hidden objects. Or they're going to be pictures we need to take. Okay. Good to know. What we got going on over here? Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Mm. Do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. 
Okay. Good advice. Good advice. Um, not gonna bother with her. Seems like a little bit of a jerk. <laughs> you can never escape the lighthouse here. Okay. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. What the heck? I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Poster. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. All right. Deadline October 9th. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You you welcome right. to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture and try to bring it up. Because Max wants everybody to see how good she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. <laughs> Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. Square Enix presents. She's so fucking shy. Don't nod entertainment. Ooh, hey now. All right. Life is Strange, Episode 1. I'm just gonna ignore everybody, I think. Just go straight to the bathroom like she thought. Oh, they're picking on that kid? To all of you, oh, I can't do anything. American that sucks. It looks like she's been gone for months. Without you, American girl. Okay. I'd like to be part of the that gender's just using like a Swiffer mop. What the? What the heck? Driving a car by the seaside. I mean, usually they use like a uh, a mop. From the bright side. Principal's office. I wonder where the bathroom is. Was there? Oh, there it was. To all of you, American girls in the movies. No one can tell what you Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Rachel Amber is a bitch. Okay, thanks for the advice. Illuminati. What's that say? Kate twerks for God. To have sex. <laughs> Kate twerks for God. <laughs> I hate Victoria Chase. Me too, me too. Firebell. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. Vortex club are jer- oh, vortex club are jerks. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Posters all over I this place. Shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Sure, it would have been way worse if you didn't get the shot, but what do I know? <laughs> I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. You just need some self-confidence. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Easy, easy. Slower, come on. And scare it away. Ah, 
Butterfly on dirty buckets. Ah, yes. It's a unisex bathroom? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> You're the boss. What the heck? So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! Oh. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am! Oh my god. You're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are oh no. get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Jeez, right in the stomach. That's a painful death. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. crying? I held up my hand. It's like a tear. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe this. Oh, her camera. Black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why are Hold L2 to rewind. Oh, okay now. I did it. What the heck? I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. All right. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Portrait has been popular I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl selfie. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Hopefully she remembered the answer. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I feel sick. I have to use the bathroom. I'll say I feel sick. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind Sad face. and give him the right answer? All right, here we go. Oh, hold R2 to rewind faster, okay. Max, since you've captured... There we go. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. 
mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Thank you, thank you. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. All right, I'm just going to ignore him then. Competition, everybody in class. I see you, Max Caulfield. Ugh. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Come on, bud. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Mm, I'm not avoiding it, bud. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max... Don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Okay, okay. Press L to quickly undo your previous action. Oh, okay. So it goes to that gauge. Even if you're submitting your photo for So then if I talk to him. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. John Lennon said. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Okay. Thank you. Now let's go save that girl. With the blue hair. We don't know her name yet, I don't think. Unless I just missed it. Please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Go, go, go. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face, I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Break the glass. Down. Tell me what to do. I need a hammer to break it open. Sick. Oh geez, oh geez. To control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Get the no hammer. Would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit. shit! I need a hammer to break it open. No. Wait, what? What? You are not affected by the rewind. Oh, okay. So I can rewind and still have the hammer. Interesting. Don't. Ever tell me what to okay, do. Okay, now. I'm so sick of people trying to control. No, that's pretty cool. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Ooh. Ooh. Another <laughs> shitty day. God, he just runs out the with happen. the gun. This cannot be real. I just saw a run, Max, run. Shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? A little sexist. Whatever you're up to, your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You heard the man. Hello, Principal. Principal Wells. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my... 
future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? Pinballs? You can always be upfront with me, Mac. Hey, Tech. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Report Nathan for sure. Kid's got a gun. I saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. I'm doing Nathan good, Tech. Thanks for asking. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. And most distinguished. And one of the most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Better look into it. After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Oh, you can rewind to change can the I outcome. Can change my story? Hmm. Should we change our choice? You think we should just not tell him? Oh, I don't know. Nah, the kid had a gun. We're telling him. Alright, where are we going? I think that was the right choice. <laughs> I like that you can choose a different outcome, then. That's really cool. You can sort of see how it plays out before you lock into your, your outcome. Blackwell Academy. With Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. It's all of the same girl. The missing poster. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? He's he's aloof. He's aloof. He seems like he's always above you. Not like a snob, but like you don't know what's in his head. Maybe. Mr. Jefferson just has his own style. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Okay. <laughs> Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. Oh god. High school rumors. Glad I'm not there anymore. So Long gone. Uh, Rachel? <laughs> not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Okay. Exhibit panel. Journal. Oh. I'll meet you in the lot looking cool. You'll see. My camera will be ready to see you shortly. That's what she's doing? Can you get my flash drive? I need some info and space. Okay. Oh, other text messages. Happy birthday, Maxine. Do you want to get tea later today? Absolutely. I'll be free after four. Have a very special 18th. Okay, so she's 18 your account don't blow it all at once I don't think I can <laughs> look at her bank okay, account I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive all right where's her dorm 
one day. There must be a map somewhere. Oh wait, here we go. Dormitories. Such a gamer, man. <laughs> Just a second, what's this guy doing? Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Oh, I got this. That was the, uh, you know, the, the guy's name started with a... And then it ended with a... You know, you know, uh, Robert Kappa. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. Oh, God, I got it right. <laughs> That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. All right, let's see what this guy's got. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Cool. Nice job, dude. Graffiti? Clever. Vortex Club sucks. What the heck is Vortex Club? Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. Oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him. I busted him. I busted That's him. That's right, I'm a narc. A what? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. Nice. Caught a kid with a gun. Made that guy's day, or made that, <laughs> made that kid's day better. And off to the dormitories. Get that flash drive. Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. <laughs> brah. Shred some nard, brah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Who is this? Alyssa? Oh. Hi, Max. What are you reading? What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to interrupt your reading. Jesus. Oh, jeez. Come on, ladies. I need to get through there. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Puncher. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your yeah. wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Man, she's an idiot. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh my god, this, this, oh, she yes, is a bitch. Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. All right, can I... I wonder if I can uh, rewind and move this sprinkler? Oh no, okay. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. I thought those sprinklers were off. I was, I was gonna try and r rewind nice, bro. till the sprinkler was off, and then move the sprinkler to get them wet. But I guess that's not, uh, not the deal. 
I know it's gonna go up to that totem, but I can't. Let's see what Ashley is this Ashley? Alright, can't talk to her. Guess we'll just go in this way. Oh. Oh, here we go. What the hell? <laughs> Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the step. My cashmere. Anything else in here? Nope. Alright. To the apartment. Or her, her room, I guess. They're still here. What the hell? She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. All right, let me see if I can get this football and throw it at the paint can. Oh, dude. Interception. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, can't talk to him. Let's see here. Not him either. All right, let me go turn. What? I need to figure this out. Okay. Must have wasted too much time. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Rewind more. No, they just got wet, so I don't... Get forward. Let me see if I can grab this. Nope. Oh, look at the squirrel. What do you got, little guy? Can. Make art, not war? Okay, then. <laughs> Most cliche phrase. Let me see if I can turn the sprinklers back off. No. Oh, wait. What'd that say? Oh, just Samuel. Okay, I guess let me rewind even further. And see if I can, like, grab that paint and put it in the sprinklers, maybe? Nope, take it. I can't grab that. Samuel is way... Oh my god, Samuel, get out of here. There we go, jeez. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay. And then go turn on the sprinklers. Or... Probably let them keep laying there. Let's see. Okay. Come on, Sammy, get up there. Doing a nice job painting, though. Close, but no cigar. Oh, okay, so they had to be there. Right under the bucket. What the hell? All right. So let me rewind there. Go turn the sprinklers on. Get down from there, Sammy. Do I have to tamper with this again? No, it's all set. Run, Max, run. All right, skip that. Nice, bro. Sammy goes up with the paint and... No. Here we go. No way! No fucking way! <laughs> oh, Samuel, sorry. 
Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, no. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. And Jeez. Work. Don't mess with Max, bitches. She is awful. Oh, what happened? Are you okay? Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Let's comfort. We'll be, we'll be nice. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. We'll kill her with kindness. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Ooh, we're turning her. I She'll be on our side. A towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck yourselfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know. I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. There we go. We made a friend. Oh. <laughs> Into the dormitories. We took the higher road and we made a friend. Board. Hurry, Courtney. Run, run. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. <laughs> I pull this? Nope. Alright. Max's room. Oh, they get a room all to themselves? Home sweet home. My favorite Jeez. Cocoon. It's definitely a private school. <laughs> Oh, she's good. Yeah, pretty good. I don't know if it'll just keep going unless, or I have to hit circle to get up. So I'm just gonna get up. <laughs> Yeah, the, she wasn't, uh, <laughs> the chords she was playing weren't matching up. <laughs> Your princ principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? Aw, oh, that, that god principal did, did son of a, Jesus. <laughs> principal said this was a serious false charge and that he's worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this, mom. <laughs> well, mom. Maybe if you texted me more besides just my birthdays, I'd be going a little better. Dad was always the nice one. Instant film. Pennant. Oh, I can use the, uh, the computer. Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. Not like the paint was realistic yet. <laughs> Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. <laughs> All right, I thought I could use the laptop. Yeah, there we go. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's Ma nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall... Wait, who's Warren? Wait, I, actually, I think Warren's the one we're going to meet. Yeah, fl flash drive. Yeah, this is the this is the kid we're going to meet. Okay. We have to bring back the flash drive. So where is that? 
Oh, Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Hey, it's not there. Oh, I can play some music. She have to save about the, the one-eyed teddy bear. Oh boy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. <laughs> I swallowed the eye. A note? Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Cinematic contents of this flash drive are of a graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. <laughs> Alright, where's this flash drive? Feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Okay. This song playing on the stereo sounds like uh, a little bit like Alt J. You guys know who that is. All right, see you, Tech. See you next time. Ooh, cookies. Oh, uh, we can only look at them. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. All right, I have no idea where this flash drive is. What? The... I looked in the drawer. Is it in the... It's not in the computer. Oh, we can water the plant. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. This action has consequences? What the heck? We'll leave it. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm just gonna leave because I, I don't know where the flash drive is. I need to grab the flash drive on my desk. Oh my god. Where. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Oh, okay. <laughs> Someone stole it. All right, so D. I don't know who D is, but we'll go. Now oh. I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Dana. <laughs> you can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Um, excuse me, I need my flash drive. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What, what type of room locks from the outside? Like like a bedroom. She's That's insane. Friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. Oh. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you, you care? Out, why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, uh, Juliet, uh, P Patson, Watson, uh, Patson. Juliet, Pats, Juliet, Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Oh, Watson? Hold on, let me just rewind that. Hey, Juliet. Hey, Is everything... We can get to... Juliet Watson. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course you I do. Ridiculous. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. 
Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? Or how we'll do would Dana do that? Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. <laughs> I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. All right, so I'm guessing go talk to uh, Victoria. No need to go there now. No. Nope. Can we talk to her in the room? No. Nope. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Okay. Toilet paper everywhere. Uh, where's Victoria's? Oh, here's Victoria. Victoria's probably been the one to the sex thing that, uh, Juliet's girlfriend. Or she's just making it up for no reason. <laughs> just to, just to gossip. Poster, what's this? Okay. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Just uh, snooping in someone else's room, sounds good. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Ooh. She did. She just made it up. Jeez. All right. Print it. What else was over here? Jewelry. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Let's take this and get out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of course. <laughs> That's all it took. Oh, of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. All right. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> what? I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Okay, can't look at anything though. Letter. What's up, Dana? Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Hmm, Victoria's not nice. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. 
Can I wonder if I can actually look in that folder now? No. Nope. I better make sure everything is still in there. Okay. Let's go see I Warren. Think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how. The more I text, the longer I take. <laughs> more tempting. I have my self respect. I have my self respect. All right, so he's in the parking lot. Oh, can we talk to this guy now? Fuck this shit. Oh, Jesus. Ow. What's up, Zachary? Lost, hipster. Damn, I better rewind. <laughs> Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. If I insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. This girl's voice reminds me. <laughs> reminds oh, me of. That was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> reminds me of the the guy from Breaking Bad. Um. Uh, it's um. Jesus, it's the lawyer's like buddy that he hires to like follow Walt and stuff. You're gonna regret this, Walter. <laughs> Oh god, I gotta watch Breaking Bad again. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Okay. Will this guy talk to us now? Get lost. Nope, sir. okay. I'm not doing any interviews. Alright, to the parking lot. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. <laughs> He'll remember this. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Hmm. I probably could have gone bad. Like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Nope. Confident in that decision? Not just gonna stand by and take a photo? There's Warren. I really like the art style. It's like sort of like a mix between Telltale and like a Last of Us. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Okay. I don't get it. Oh, Juliet. Oh, Zach and Victoria. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexed Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Poor girl. All right, I'm coming, Warren. Hold on. Come on over here, please. <laughs> what up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh, just 60 miles away. 60 miles. 
but then so am I. You okay? It's I mean, that's not that far, I guess. Fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Hmm. I think I'm gonna say I've been busy, because I don't, I don't think she did. No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. <laughs> Seen it. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just going to say how so. How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh, God. You need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Not social. Oh, is she going to tell him she can rewind time? Max, don't do it. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Oh, God. You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. I told him the truth. Answer me, bitch. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Oh, I did the wrong Take one. A step back, Nathan <laughs> Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. Oh, my God. Who goes to a headbutt? Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the now. bathroom. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Twin Peaks. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Oh, go! Oh, I got this! Oh, jeez. Get in, Max! Man, these kids are violent. Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! What the heck is in the water in this place? <laughs> and then the security guard gets there. Ain't that the truth? Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Mm, hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? <laughs> I guess. I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. <laughs> hipsters don't smartass. That's why I'm here. 
Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. <laughs> Only for Mark Jeff Jefferson. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Jeez, give me a break. Give me a break. I was going through changes. Like you. I guess those changes included dumping me from your life. That's not true, Chloe. Bullshit. You thought you hook up with all these art pricks in Seattle. Didn't happen, though. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just want oh, yeah, that's to pretty bad. first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. I'm half expecting her to go. I can rewind time. <laughs> Broken. Oh, man, are you serious? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. He actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> so they're still, I think they're still like in Washington. Just like somewhere near Seattle, but not Seattle. Come on in. Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. So, so like somewhere in the, the upper Northwest. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. What's she smoking? What are you smoking? Hopefully it's not cigarettes. Alright, where is the stereo? There it is. The hi-fi. It won't play without any power. Are you kidding me? There we go. Let me guess, it needs music? Houston, we have the power. Of course. But we need to find a disc to play. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Okay, not there. The box. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. You know, Chloe, you could you could just tell me where the music is. Why you gotta be like this? There we go. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. Bum, 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 bum. That's Rachel Amber? Who's Rachel Amber? That's Rachel Amber. Her missing oh. person posters are all over Blackwell. Makes sense, makes yeah, sense. I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. 
even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. Mm, what about your mom? What about your mom? What did Joyce think about all this? She couldn't wait to get rehitched. Step dick is one reason I wanted to bail. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Jeez. These kids got a lot of problems. I think it's just weed. Anyway, the thing she's not smoking cigarettes. The camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Just blaze. All right. I think. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to just keep looking around her room, <laughs> just snooping while she's in there. You know, we'll just go down to the garage, try and fix up the uh, camera. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. Of course. Kitchen. Oh, Kate. Alright. Good thing we helped her. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. I should be able to find the tools I need here. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. <laughs> I need tiny tools. Food? Ugh, corned beef in a can. TV? Oh, don't be Chloe's room. Don't be a camera in her room. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? I mean, as long as there's not some, like, oh, behind the vents, come on, dude. All right, we didn't see Chloe's room though, and we we went through all of them. So I don't I don't think there's a camera in Chloe's room, but it looks like maybe in the the like master bedroom, which is strange, <laughs> especially with it being behind the vent. This guy's a creep. All right, let's close the cupboard. Find some tiny tools. I'm singing songs about the future. Oh, a gun case? Where you are. Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? Oh. You've got to be shitting me. Right. And he was in the, the armed forces. From the armed forces to a security guard. That's awesome. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get?
All right, tiny tools, tiny tools, where are you? Well, that was search, but that that's files. I'm not going to search through files. Nothing. This is so lame. American overdose. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, Neb. Oh, plus he's a prepper. Look at all the extra food. Yeah, this guy is... This guy's not good. Can we unlock this door? Cool. Now it's opened. Alright, I guess I'll just so go tell Chloe, like... No need to go there now. Oh. Well, I don't... <laughs> I don't want to keep looking around the house and just snooping. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Alright, tiny tools, tiny tools. Be on lookout for tiny tools. Brr. I can feel autumn pushing out to summer. Grave, okay. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. <laughs> Watch, this is just break. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. <laughs> except real. Totally. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's a prepper. Boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? All right, she's just remembering stuff. We don't need that context. Can we go through here? Nope. All right, back through the sliding doors. And be on the lookout for tiny tools. Stain? What? What the heck? Hey, I remember that stain. Hey, Lalu, how you doing? Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. Okay... I guess we'll look in the garage again. I must have. I must have missed something. Maybe these drawers. Oh. I don't need to use the laptop. I opened that. Oh, this drawer. Chloe's stepdad is head of security. At oh, I did open that one. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the. Chloe's stepfather is this. Yeah, I opened those. I. I mean, I guess I'll just. Look at the laptop, I guess. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. All right. Nothing much, Lalu. We're just playing Life is Strange. My first time playing. So we're just on episode one. We're only like an hour in. Butterfingers. <laughs> Butterfingers. Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. It's like stalking her now. What the heck? Alright, I can't put it away, so that's not good. Oh, in the car, maybe? Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Oh, good thinking, Neb. I can reverse that. Good thinking. Alright, that was the food. We searched those, we opened that cupboard. Yes! Score! What? Okay. Guess he's a pretty good shot. We looked at this one too. 
nothing. This yep. is so. All right, I guess look in the in the kitchen maybe. Books. Chloe, if you're listening. Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered. Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Sounds like such a dick. All right, tiny tools. Travel money. <sighs> I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Tiny tools, tiny tools. And the only thing I can do is go up, I guess. But I still can't. No reason to go now. What am I missing? Didn't realize this was a puzzle game. <laughs> Poor little deer. It's not enough to kill you. They have to display your head. Yeah, I looked at all this stuff. These are way too big. Yeah, too big. Open the cupboards. The TV, we found that. Oh, what's this? Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. Oh. I wonder why. Okay. Let me close that again. Huh. I guess I can go outside again. Maybe I missed something out there. Come on, open it, chicken. Hold on. And I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink first, Max. No way. It was your idea, Chloe. Whatever. Give me that bottle. Whatever. Well? Tasty. Very tasty. Here, I, I want a sip. Sorry. This is not for kids. Don't be greedy. Give me some. Oh, shit. The carpet. There's wine all over. What do we do now? My parents are coming. Cover it up. Is that the whole thing? Yeah, I think so. Oh, maybe the TV cabinet. No? Alright, let me go outside again. Maybe I missed something. So tranquil here, like a Japanese garden in Oregon. I already looked at that painting, the grave, I guess. We made this grave Bengo. for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. Oh, Bongo, we it's a curse of O. <laughs> Bingo. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. All right, this is crazy. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Oh, light switch. Those are the shiniest donuts. Jeez. <laughs> like dipped in gold. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Oh, that's not good. 
All right, I th like I feel like I've <laughs> like I've seen everything. I don't know what I'm what I'm missing. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. I don't know where I'm not looking. Um, give me one second, Neb. Let me look. Let me look a little bit more. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. I guess they're aging, these books. Hmm. Tiny tools, tiny tools. Yeah, where is it, Neb? I don't know what I'm what what I'm missing. Microwave? No. I feel like I'm just going in circles now. Apparently there's a washing machine. Oh. Oh, it's up at the top. Boom. Okay. Screwdrivers. I didn't I didn't see that prompt because I, I kept going them. I kept going by this like this and you had to look at the tools before this <laughs> before they showed up. Jeez. Guess I should start looking at the top of things then. <laughs> that was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Alright. Yes, here's some ancient cardboard. Push it under. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Oh, oh, okay, okay. There we go. Okay, put the cardboard under. And then turn on the washing machine. Then pull the cardboard out. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. There we go. All right, <laughs> back upstairs. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. took us quite a while <laughs> if I had only just looked up all right where's Chloe's room oh here we go you found the tools sweet you can sit at my desk and fix your camera okay thank you So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. Uh, we'll, we'll tell her. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, <laughs> I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. 
So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared, too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Yeah, just a bit. Just a bit? There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Uh... Absolutely. Absolutely? Nathan Prescott had a fucking gun on you. Just about that's the gun, though. How scary. Who did you tell? The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. That could that could have gone worse, I guess. <laughs> Wasn't too bad. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool. You remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. New camera. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. <laughs> yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that phony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> Jeez. He's out of control. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. This sounds like Cage the Elephants, kind of. Break it down, Max. I know it's not them, but it just sounds like them. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. Dude, the music's not even on! <laughs> Get in the closet. Fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Get in the closet. I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just oh, geez. Let me in. Not there. Please. One second. Under the bed. Is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. This is going nowhere fast. I better look someplace else. Are you kidding me? Get outside. Open the door. One, two. Three. Oh wait. Oh wait. Reverse. Chloe, you're stalling. Move the lamp. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't there we go. Smart. Just let me. I keep forgetting about the rewind mechanic. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat. We'll do that to you. <laughs> One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, <laughs> weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Mm, stay hidden. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, like now! Oh my god. What the? Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. 
or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Child abuse. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm for sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. Mm, good That's I didn't step out then. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. <laughs> David was such hick a hole. mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? Mm, nope, I'm commit. Committing to the choices. Jacket, Chloe? You're gonna be cold. Oh, the lighthouse. So I wonder, like, did Max... She must have, like, it seems like she just got her powers, like, rewinding time and stuff, so... Did she get them because she moved to this weird town? I'm, gu I'm guessing that's probably what's happening. So other people are probably gonna have more powers? I guess we'll see. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Trash. That damn trash people. Warren up to. <laughs> Kick. <laughs> oh, Victoria. I didn't realize she texted us. Thanks, but we're not friends. Well, okay. <laughs> Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree for it, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. She drew with a skull and crossbones? Okay. <laughs> in case of emergency, go here. Sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. What's she mad at me for? Pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. What? I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. She said it would have been worse if I had stepped out. <laughs> like... Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. Mm, he freaked out on Kate. Should have... Uh... I'll say he freaked out on Kate. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Oh, the files? Uh, files? I know that look. You peeked. So, dish the dirt. Snuff videos? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwall students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. I worry there's spy cams in the house. I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I think she told her. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. Mm. What's Nathan's? What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. Ew. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. 
No. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. Hmm. How much? How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. Damn. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan... She needs that stimulus money. ...dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum-rush the door and get the hell out. Oh, lucky. Max, it was insane. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. Hmm. Let's call the police. What are you going to do? Pop a cap in his ass? Let's call the police. Screw that. You already told the principal, and I'm sure it's useless. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. I guess she didn't like the word destiny. <laughs> If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. Heck, the game just got so much louder. Drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. That was weird. Oh, she's like, she was like glitching. That was weird. Why is this happening to me? Why am I here again? It's Harry's Patronus. Is Chloe still Whoa. There? Oh my god. Out. Don't go to the left, jeez. <laughs> okay. Can I crawl? Oh no, I just need to rewind it. There we go. Oh, she can move faster. Okay, okay. Let's go, dear. I've never seen a storm like this in Oregon. Oh, they're in Oregon. Okay, okay. I did say the Pacific Northwest. The tornado is back. Jesus. That was a boat. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh wait, can I use that to get across? Oh, there's like a path there, okay. Um, I think I can make it. Go, go, go! Nice. What day does it say? Is this Friday? That's only four days away! Oh, shit. Oh, no. The tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. 
Oh my lord, this is real, it's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. <laughs> I can go back in time. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. There's like a weird like glitching effect when they move, and I don't know Snowflakes? It's like if it's the game or if it's unintentional. Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Life is strange. Oh, that's Chloe's mom. Joyce, I think her name was. Warren. Oh, she's crying. I bet you she has powers or something. <laughs> Look at that bong. Guess we'll figure out who that guy was. Really good music in this game, though. Really good. Hey, see that? It's like weird, like screen tearing type of, but it's, I don't know, it's strange. Chrysalis. That one for. Oh, finished episode one. Oh, okay. Cool. So we reported Nathan, which 65% of people did. That's wow. I'm surprised by that. Got a bunch of narcs playing this game. 66% <laughs> uh, comforted Victoria. Well, that's, that's uh, good. Shows the majority of people are pretty, um, uh, what, what would I say? Good natured. You intervened to help out Kate. 82% did. Nice, nice. We have 18% of people that are just paparazzis. Just taking photos. And then 35% stayed hidden. 2% blamed Chloe. You took the blame for Chloe? You Oh, so you came out of hiding, and then you also blamed Chloe for the pot. <laughs> Jeez. Those 2% are ridiculous. <laughs> Jeez. Didn't let Daniel draw your portrait. I didn't even know that was a... A thing. Didn't sign the petition. Helped Alyssa, 76%. Erase the inc insults. We did that. Only 45%, but that's probably just because people didn't really uh, notice them, that you could change it. 65% watered the plant. Didn't touch Dana's pregnancy test. What the heck? I guess we should have explored their, uh, or snooped around their rooms a little bit more. We would have found all that stuff. Didn't touch Victoria's photos. Didn't write on a dirty RV. Let the bird die. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't even know there was a bird that died. You didn't break Chloe's snow globe. Left evidence. You read David's files. 
Okay, okay. Jeez. Episode 2, Out of Time. Alright. Good first episode. How many episodes are there? Um, play episodes. Five episodes, okay. That's pretty cool. Cool. Well, that's gonna be it for this part of our Life is Strange playthrough. This is all of episode one, which is pretty cool. I didn't realize they were that... Not short. I mean, we played. It was almost two hours of playing this, so that's. I like that that uh that length for episodic games. You know, about a couple hours. Some of them are longer. Some of them are a little shorter, but that's good. I'm glad I finally started playing this game. We'll be playing this game more this week, along with some other games we got playing. Yeah. Hope everybody has a. Geez. I hope everybody has a good rest of your night. I'll see you all tomorrow at 3 p.m. EST watching this on YouTube later because it goes live tomorrow be sure to like and subscribe or thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and if you're on Twitch be sure to follow so you can be notified when I go live I also have a Twitter which is at HuggyHomer.com and also you can just go to HuggyHomer.com it has all my stuff there makes it easy so yeah have a good rest of your night guys and I'll see you all tomorrow <laughs>